Joining us today is William Martin, author of The Lost Constitution, a unique historical fiction and contemporary thriller that links the circumstances of our nation's founding to the political climate and controversies of today. Thank you for being with us, Bill. Thank you for having me. Tell us about The Lost Constitution. It's the story of the first draft of the United States Constitution that's stolen from Philadelphia in the weeks before the ratification of the Constitution. And it disappears into New England somewhere. And for the next 200 years, people try to find that first draft of the Constitution for two reasons. First of all, it's worth a fortune. And secondly, it's annotated by the New England delegates, all of whom have left their thoughts on this draft about the look of a Bill of Rights and the meaning of our freedoms. And so lots of people would love to get their hands on it to find out what they really meant about things like the right to keep and bear arms, for example, which is the uh, Second Amendment and which is the, uh, the focus of the story in the modern thriller. Peter Fallon, one of your title characters, is a rare books dealer and an unlikely hero. Tell us about him. Well, actually, one of uh, the other characters describes him as Indiana Jones in a monogrammed shirt. <laughs> he has his feet in two communities, the working class community of Boston where he grew up and the world of uh, rare books, rare documents, art and artifacts that he has made his uh, professional world. He believes as a historian, and in the first novel that he appeared in Back Bay, he was graduate student in history. He believes that the past matters, and he goes after that lost constitution. Can you fill us in on Will Pike, the hero whose tale takes place over 200 years ago in the past? The story of Peter Fallon's hunt for the lost constitution in 2007 is one story, and that meets the historical story which begins in 1787 with Will Pike. He's a young farm boy who wants to make a mark in life. and he manages to get himself onto the staff of one of the Massachusetts delegates to the Constitutional Convention of 1787. And he's in Philadelphia, and he's in charge of that first draft of the Constitution when it's stolen out of Philadelphia by his brother. And he has to go and track it down. Uh, Will becomes uh, an adventurer, an empire builder, and he gives birth to the uh, family that will search for that lost constitution over the next 200 years. At the center of the conflict in your book is the Second Amendment. What is it about gun law that attracted your attention? When you have an opportunity to um, begin a novel with an issue that is so powerful in its potential for divisiveness, you have drama built right in. Uh, and we also live in a time when people feel that the Constitution is under, uh, in, is under attack. So again, history repeats itself. That's right. That's right. <laughs> what we're doing as novelists, as historical novelists, is giving you people you can identify with. And what I do in all of my novels is take fictional characters, put them on the ground in the midst of these big historical moments and let you see through their eyes how history unfolds. And that, what that does is bring you closer to it. You know, you have the opportunity in this book to shake hands with a lot of figures out of American history. Thank you so much for joining us, Phil. Thank you for having me. Part historical fiction, part mystery, and part thriller, The Lost Constitution will have you spellbound. This book takes you on a whirlwind journey back through time to America's founding and makes you think about what it means to enjoy our rights today.